Okay, good morning everybody in the body, you know, the body of Christ, you know, <laughs> everybody, you know, I hope everybody's having a good day. It's Thursday, we done got to hump through the week. It's almost, you know, it's over for a lot of, almost a lot of people tomorrow, but not me, I work this week, and, you know, and I'm just grateful. I woke up with joy in my heart, you know, you know, what God's doing in a lot of our lives, you know, at this hour, you know, and the devil wants us, a lot of us to, um, lose our faith on, in God and what he told us, but, you know, we don't lose our faith, you know, we are more, we are faith walkers, that's why I say I'm a faith walker, I've been walking this, you know, this journey for a while, you know, you know, I remember when I had the faith of a little mustard seed, but, you know, what it done grew so, so big now that I'm able to, you know, always be able to believe the best out of the best, you know, even though I don't see it, because I know God is in control of everything that concerns me. You know, in this in this season um, that, I, that I'm at now, you know, my new beginnings, I want God to really, you know, show himself mighty in his children's lives at this hour because a lot of people, you know, they done gave up hope. And, you know, since COVID-19, a lot of people, you know, they have stopped going to church and, you know, they just feel like a spirit of fear done creeped up on a lot of people. And, you know, I don't have a spirit of fear. I have a spirit of a sound mind, you know, and God gives me that sound mind to be able to, in the midst of what's going on with me, I'm still able to, you know, to put my trust in him. And I'm able to, you know, continue to um, look up to him. That's where my help is coming from, you know. You know, he, he motivates me daily, you know, to be able to come and do the same thing for, since 2009, you know, speaking in, in his people's lives, and you know, and I wouldn't have anything, you know, any different, you know, than what he had showed me and gave me, you know, the vision. He said, write the vision and make it plain, you know, and I've been wrote the vision and make it plain. It's time for me to execute that vision and really go bring it some full manifestation at this season, you know, and the devil, he came against me so hard, you know, during the years to get me to falter off of what God showed me, but I never faltered from what God showed me because I know what God had told me. And I was able to, you know, have that faith enough to believe him. You know, that patience, you know, and you know, the person that endures the race have to have endurance, you know, and perseverance. And I'm just where I'm doing right now. And, you know, and I thank God every day that he gives me, you know, he refreshes me to, you know, be able to do, get up and do the same thing again, you know. And I pray, you know, I pray your, a lot of our family, our children, you know, they get healing and deliverance, you know. God, you know, he's in the business of always letting you know that um, you're on the right track, you know. That's why it's always good to self back and step back from me and self-reflect and, you know, consecrate myself away, you know, so I can clearly hear him. You know, there's so many voices nowadays you can hear, you know. You got to know which one is of God and which one of the um, angel of, the, you know, the angel of light that's masquerading as a, a, a messenger of God, you know. But always, I think the um, the the eyes is always a, is to, you can tell them it reads the soul, you know, the soul and the heart of a person, you know. And I have met many beautiful people, you know. And I'm gonna, you know, get more one on one, you know. I'm gonna have to. I said I'm gonna set this YouTube up, you know. And you know, God know I hate computers. You know, I'm a talker. I'm I I I'll, I'll counsel, I'll talk and all that. You know, when I start doing something, I already tell them I want somebody to do all that typing and all that stuff. I'm, I'm a talker. I'm not into that. Even when I was in school, I just wanted to hurry up and do my my you know, my my work and get that off the computer. You know, essay. Let me get this out. Done, you know, because I procrastinate on situations like that. Reading and reading and spelling and things like that came naturally to me. But you know, and then talking to people. You know. That's been natural, you know. God, I thank God that he gave me that because, you know, so many people that's religious and stuck up, they don't know how to meet nobody where they at, like an everyday person, you know, and talk to them. Like I said, I always, I said that the river of shape are so long, you know, just watching, you know, the degradation, watching the things that's going on with people, watching the hate, watching the killing, you know, watching the murders and, you know, the envy and the jealousy. I've, I've been through all that stuff. That stuff don't move me, you know. Because God has me, and you know what, and I pray, I always, that's why I said I, I'm going to read something, I stop, I mentor and counsel people, you know, I do healing deliverance, I do, you know, 
intercession business. I, I, just, I, I do all types of things. I, and I thank God for giving me creativity to be able to create and, and, and you know, write something down and then I can always see a plan for it. <laughs> and then when I start speaking it, I just wait on it to, you know, manifest. And, you know, that's where I'm at, the manifestations of God, you know, his children. He said those people who yearn to see them, him will. And, you know, if your heart is right and, and you know, God, you done repented, God done, he searches a man inner heart, you know. And he's going to, you know, show up for you. He's going to, um, son right here. He's going to be there for you and you're going to know, no doubt, that God is with you. And when he said, it's more with you than against you. I remember that years ago. <laughs> and I see a lot of them now. But I'm like, shoot, I'm the only one. You know, I was, I, I've been through the Elijah experience. You know, I'm thank God I graduated from the Elijah experience. And I don't fear, you know, Jezebel. I don't fear none of that stuff. You know, when God give me a word to say or do, I'm going to execute it and say it and do it. There's no doubt. I don't flinch. I don't stop, you know. I'm strong will and the devil knows that. And he tried to use that against me sometimes because I'm a determined person, you know. I'm determined to do the will of God. You know, I'm determined to always, you know, help people, speak life into people, you know. And God, you know, God is love. That's why I said first Corinthians thirteen, the um true love, you know, that's why I say that's my scriptures. I love love is is kind, it's patient, it's not boastful. It's not um, self selfish. It's selfless. And you know what? I thank God for being a selfless person. You know, be able to um, help others in spite of what's going on in my life. You know, to speak that word into your life that you will be able to keep continuing your walk of faith, continue to keep pressing and moving. And you know what? God has this. You know, he got this. And you know what? When you know he got this, you just sit back, chill, and relax. And, you know, let him do the work in you. Because when he finishes, it, he's going to have masterpieces. You know, you know, he's going to have vessels of honor, <laughs> valor. And that is his women and men of God, you know. And he's working on so, uh, everyone right now at this moment. And, you know, he's going to have a perfected church. That's what he said, without a spot or a blemish. And that's where you're seeking for to be that perfected in Christ. Oh, Yeshua. You know, God told me don't get stuck on the names, you know, and I have to watch that because you'll get caught in the religious spirit. Oh, his name is Yeshua. We this, we the tribe of Judah. We are the tribe of this. You know what? I, yo, it don't matter. None of that doesn't matter. He said, "He, I am who I am. And that's what he told me back years ago. And I had to remind myself, I am who I am. And that's even with myself, I am who I am. And I don't put on fronts. And, you know, it's either you love me or you hate me, you know. And and, and that's how I, I, I walk, you know, daily in my life as far as, you know, people and everything. Because everybody that's meant to be in your circle will stay in your circle. And those who were never of your circle, they'll be gone because God hadn't ordained them to finish that chapter. They might have just been in the time and season in your life when you needed them to speak in your life. And then he had them moving on to somebody that was need more, you know, encouragement. They need to be growing in Christ. Some people that don't even know Christ. You know, and even when I would be at the table, you know, my mom's house, I remember one day they was like, you know, blessed. They asked me to bless the table. When I mentioned God, my one, you know, particular family member was like, no, she didn't say that. Yes, I did say that. <laughs> you know, because without God, I wouldn't even be who I am. And, and I wouldn't even be breathing and living and be able to speak to somebody. I supposed to have been dead three different times in my life. And I'm still standing strong and I'm still here, you know. And the devil know I'm I determined, you know, to be able to fulfill the calling that's on my life. And I'm even even to, after that, if I was to you know go to tomorrow, I'm not going to have regrets of anything because everything I did, I did what he told me to do, you know. Despite you know since he's been called me to this, and you know, and you'll know when you're called out and chosen because you're not going to fit in with people, you know. It said many are called but few are chosen. You want to be a few of the chosen one because a lot of people been called out. We see. But they're not chosen. Chosen when you chosen is the anointing and the and the purpose of your life is gonna just by nature just instantly. You know it's not gonna be you have to be worked up on. You know because God called you for that. Everybody have specific callings. You know and you'll be called to that one and you'll be able to you know your calling to be cultivated. He'll cultivate it during the years. You know even with me we're writing poems. I haven't wrote any lately. But I think I had a few. I had some of them when I did write them on my page, you know. 
and they were beautiful. You know, God always giving me creative ideas, creative writing, the scribal anointing, you know, and I can write. You know, let me get in this quiet place, you know, nothing around me, putting me on some worship and praise music, and I'm a, I have a pen of, of a ready writer, and I'll write. You know, I, say, I have so much on Facebook that I wrote during the years, and I just sometimes go back and look and be like, that's the beauty of God. You know, speaking the stuff in prophetic words and the spirit of prophecy, which uh, that's the gift that God had told us that we should want to convey. Convey don't mean to be selfishly keeping it to yourself, but to convey that gift to cultivate and help others to speak that life and speak that realm of word that God has spoken to you that it needs to come to manifestation. You know, and I thank God. And you know what? I, I know I have to, I got something to do. I have to get off of here. But I want to just get on here quickly and to encourage you to keep pushing and keep moving because God got this and God has you. Bye-bye and blessings and shalom.